Hello everybody, my name is Sandro and I'm currently in the Dominican Republic uh, working as a volunteer for Dogs and Cats of Dominican Republic, short DCDR. And today was my first day and this video is about my experience. So a DCDR is a volunteering project that takes care of dogs and cats uh, in the northern part of the Dominican Republic. And here in particular today, they were going around in Susua in something they call outreach. We are reaching out to local families and people um, and check their animals. So they basically go around uh, in the houses and around the houses and they check for cats and dogs that are around and they check if they're healthy, uh, they give them medicine, they give them food and if they're really not healthy they take them to the vet. Um, so interestingly the people don't care if they just walk into their garages or in their open houses or in their backyards and do something to their dogs. Um, they're actually quite happy about that which fits the spirit here of the people in the Dominican Republic. They're very open, they're very joyful, and they're very friendly. So we're here with uh, Nikki and Tanya from uh, the DCDR. They are volunteers there. They're from the US, but they live here in the Dominican Republic. Uh, actually, they name pretty much every cat and dog that we encountered, and they have like five or 700 of them. Um, so one dog will be named uh, Marshmallow, that's my favorite one. Uh, the cat will be named Sparkles, or um, they have a dog called Crazy Pants because he will all, all always jump on the pants. Uh, and they have a very personal relationship with the dogs, and the dogs know them. So um, when they hear their voices, they'll come out of every house and we'll be surrounded by dogs that follow us during the entire trip. And so here's a few impressions of how such a trip works. <laughs> Have you guys seen a chick before? Yes. Yes. Is everyone yes. a big one? Yes. Yes. I'm gonna, so I'm going to give her, we're not going to pick it off. But we're going to give her a stronger mitt. No. All right. So being she has a tick, I'm going to give her something stronger here. <laughs> you need a. Is it, just is it a girl or a boy? <laughs> a girl. Uh, girl? That way? You need no, a Harper. boyfriend? <laughs> oh, Harper, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she probably misses her love. Yeah. yeah. That dog was her dog. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I knew something was up when she came mm -hmm. over. <laughs> Ready for your medicine now? <laughs> Yay! Oh, okay, there's Nick. Hi, Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So just a drop? Yeah, a couple, a couple of them. Yeah, she's pretty tricky. Good. E, uh, yeah, one more. Thank you. Thank you. And then um, point, point, point two for ivermectin. <laughs> Um, okay, ready? No. Okay. Hey. See it coming out. I didn't see it come out. Okay. Did you get it? Oh, uh, that's. I think she got it. Did you guys see it? I didn't see anything fly out. No, I didn't see something. Yeah, she got it. Okay. My big gloves. So this is Azurfin shampoo and this is good for any skin issues. So we're going to give some to an owner for their dog. It has mange tannin? Yeah, um, just a lot of ticks. It's a farm area here. And actually I will show you the dog. So this will help with the fleas and ticks also. 
So they'll wash their dog and rub this in really good and let it sit for a few minutes. And it'll kill the fleas and ticks and then they rinse it off. I know, yeah. So this kitty is really skinny. So she most likely has stomach parasites that are eating all of her nutrition. So we're gonna give her dewormer and some ivermectin and that'll help with all of that and get her healthier, huh? Yeah. Good job, kitty, good job. I know that's icky, right? It's icky. Okay, you're gonna really hate this one. <laughs> but you need that. Just a little more. Mm. You need that baby. Yeah. Was she dehydrated at all? Seems okay. Yeah, she's okay. Good job! Good job! You're okay. You're okay. So when we're done, we'll go back taller and a longer chain for this one. They're just so excited for affection. And they're not always tied up, though. And that is what outreach basically looks like. Now as you saw the dog in the last video only had a string tied around its neck and it would strangle itself every time it pulled on that chain so they got it a new collar that was donated to CCCR as well as a new chain and they did so to the dog behind it and now they can reach each other. Uh, it's a small thing but of course they're hoping to make things better. And then uh, Nikki got a call of a sick dog and unfortunately it looks like it's having distemper which is something that a young puppy like that only has a 50% survival chance. Um, so now uh, Tanya's taking it home and trying to take good care of it hoping that it might survive and if it makes it they're gonna give it back to the owner if the owner said that she wants him back in case he survives and I'm really hoping all the best for this little puppy as well. Right, so I'm done for today and I hope that I will have many more experiences like these in the next five weeks. Uh, it's absolutely great and so far I can recommend it to anybody. <laughs> Thanks and see you soon.